This is Nobiska, America's last coastal steamboat. Today she lies silent. Her steam engine lies dormant with only the memories of countless generations of happy travelers and laughing children to seemingly keep her alive. Memories of her days of service to Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and the islands. From summer's golden glories to her steadfast service through winter's sometimes ice-bound desolation. Hello, I'm Walter Cronkite, and I want to tell you why it's important to save this old steamship for us and for generations to come. You know, once more than 10,000 steamboats plied the coasts and rivers of the United States. Today, there are only a handful. The Delta Queen, the Belle of Louisville on inland rivers, and of those which once traveled coastal America, only the Nopska. Where stately floating palaces once raced for the glory of proving themselves the best, as dignified gentlemen with their beautiful ladies danced their cares away through the wee hours of the morning on grand ships carrying names like Pilgrim, Puritan, Priscilla, and Commonwealth, of them there was only one survivor. This then is Nopska. Today she's tired, suffering from a long Babylonian captivity by those who would make of her something other than what she was and what she's meant to be, a grand lady, the last survivor of the great white fleet. She was built in 1925 by Bath Ironworks, America's premier steel ship builder, for the New England Steamship Company operators of the famed Fall River Line. The second of four sister ships, the others being the Martha's Vineyard, New Bedford, and Noshon, she was built for year-round service from New Bedford to serve Woods Hole, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. These ships also were designed to do overnight duty between New York, Providence, and Fall River during slower periods when the larger ships of the Fall River Line were not needed. Ultimately, two of her sisters, the Nashon and New Bedford, were to see duty as troop carriers and as hospital ships were present at the D-Day invasion of Normandy. Surviving summer crowds, hurricanes, winter ice, and countless alterations, Nobska served Cape Cod and the islands longer than any steamer in history, finally making her last departure from Nantucket more than 50 years from the date of her first trip. Cast aside, not because her useful life was over, but because she had supposedly become inefficient in a world where beauty, grace, and dignity no longer seemed important. Shortly after this, she was sold for conversion to a floating restaurant and was unceremoniously towed away from the New England waters she had known since her keel was laid. There, after only a few years' use, she became a derelict as layer after layer of paint peeled away and her wood decks rotted. Already, the first steps on her road to restoration and operation had begun. Even before she was sold, she had achieved national historic landmark status. A group had formed whose goal it was to eventually own, restore, operate, and preserve this grand lady for future generations. Starting with just three persons from the Providence area, the Friends of Nobska grew to a national organization of more than 800 members. Donations of time and money came in, both small and large, as the Friends pursued their efforts to acquire the Nopska. Over the years, the Friends made pilgrimages to Baltimore where they carefully oiled, greased, and polished Nopska's priceless triple expansion four-cylinder engine so that she might someday run again. Finally, their prayers were answered. In 1988, the then owner of the vessel graciously donated her to Friends of Nopska. In an almost overnight effort, funds were raised to see to her safe return to New England. And so she returned home, 
initially to Fall River. The first order of business was to make her secure from any further ravages of neglect. Thousands of hours of time were donated by the Friends, the Girl and Boy Scouts, the Steamship Historical Society, and others. Scraping, painting, and patching were done. Next, the task of determining whether or not Nobska could be restored was put to those who knew her best. The question of mechanical feasibility was put to her chief engineers from her last days of operation in the 70s. Calling on the skills of the recently retired Chief of Marine Inspection for the United States Coast Guard, she was surveyed from the standpoint of condition and present-day safety at sea requirements. This was their consensus. If this vessel cannot be certified by the United States Coast Guard, it cannot run. No matter what the sentiment is, no matter what the history is. Captain Bennett retired in May as the head of the Coast Guard Inspection Office in Providence, eminently qualified to do this job. And I would like to conclude today by reading the last paragraph in his survey. In conclusion, it is the survey's opinion that restoration of Nazca is possible and feasible. I stress again the importance of working very closely with the office, officer in charge of marine inspection, marine safety office problems, and, and meticulously following his requirements and guidance. To do so will result in the vessel being operational in the future at the least amount of expense. So today, Shortly after this, the Woods Hole, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket Steamship Authority, operating successors to the New England Steamship Company, found all of the original plans for Nomska, a veritable treasure trove of needed technical information, and donated them to the friends. Today, Nomska, on her first step toward restoration, has returned to Rhode Island where she once came for her winter overhauls. Currently, the Friends of Nobska are developing detailed plans to see to her restoration as an operating museum of the American coastal steamboat, including the raising of the necessary funds. In restoring this historic vessel to its original form from the 1920s, with staterooms, stewards, and the gracious service of a bygone era, the friends intend to reinstitute for future generations the steamship service, tradition, pace of life, and grandeur which was traveled along the New England coast for more than a century and a half. As a reconstituted non-profit New England steamship company, the friends of Nobska invite you to join them in this task so that Nobska will once more be the living, breathing, grand, tall, stacked steamship she was meant to be carrying future passengers back to a gracious past as she once more travels up and down coastal America. She's part of a way of life which will be lost forever if we fail. We must not, and with your help, we will not. So join with me now as we travel back to yesteryear to a more unhurried era and a gracious past.